check, 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 check. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Um, you're doing a better job than you think. It's a journey. <laughs> Welcome back to another uh, One Take Wonder. Um, and today I'm gonna go over a topic that a lot of people ask about. And I mean, this is really what it all comes down to. We tell you to go on adventures. We say adventure is necessary. We say get out there. Don't let small reasons or even big reasons hold you back from getting out there, finding solace in the great outdoors. And the question is all, well, what do you bring? What do you bring? So I'm gonna go through it this morning. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I bring on a three-day pack out. So the parameters are gonna change as your time changes. So keep in mind that this is a solo three-day pack out. Um, the first trip that I go on by myself, this is exactly what I'm gonna bring. It'll probably be up into the, the Sierra here out in the east um, um, in the mountains. And we're gonna go through it. All right, one take wonder, I had a nose itch. I had to itch my nose. Um, all right, so uh, stepping right through it. My kit is not, there's really not much fancy in my kit um, because you don't need fancy stuff in order to, to get in your truck, load up and go out into the mountains and have a great, great time. Um, there are a few fancy things which, I'll, which I will point out. Um, but it's it's fancy where it should be fancy. Like this, uh, this is our Overland Bound med kit, and uh, that was created uh, in partnership with our good friend, Overlander, Chris Solis. He's a trauma surgeon and uh, Outer Limit Supply. That's fancy. It's fancy because it's like $350, but if you price you know, I mean, it's actually, we provide the PDF list if you want to build your own. What you'll find is that you won't spend any less than that if you have the same stuff in the, in the kit. But the reason I say that's fancy is because that's a trauma kit and med kit. You want to, you want to spend money there. You want to be prepared. So let's go through it. I'm going to start there. I'm going to absolutely bring a trauma kit when I'm out there by myself. Again, solo trip. I'm off the grid. I'm by myself. Now, cooler. You see my cooler there. Now, I get a question, well, what do you bring in terms of meals? What do you, who cares? It doesn't, like, it doesn't matter. Here's why, <laughs> I'm being funny. <laughs> Here's why, if you have 10 gallons of water on a three day trip, you're gonna survive. Everything else is a luxury. Bring whatever you want, I don't care. You wanna bring a steak, bring a steak. Um, so the cooler, put whatever you want in there. You're not gonna die, even if, you, even if that cooler is empty. Just make sure you have plenty of water. Now, you, the, the thing you see on top of the uh, cooler is I have my Overland Bound Base Camp uh, flag. Uh, it's a big old flag. Let's take a look at it. Big old flag. It ain't small. It's big. You can see it if you if you happen to be out there on the. Uh, and here's why I bring the. Here's. Whoop! Can't have it upside down for you. Here's why I bring the. The base camp flag, because people, uh, I hope that people see the Overland Bound flag and they know, I, you know, I'm a friendly, I'm a friendly, welcoming base camp. They need help. They can come over and they can ask me for some help. So I have that. Now I also have, this is, these aren't essentials people. I'm not telling you these are essentials, but I'm bringing them on my solo trip. Most of the stuff we're going to go through are essentials, but I'm pointing out other things that I bring. This is Overland Bound, uh, ambassador coin. If I see other Overland Bound members out there on the trail, I'll usually give them an ambassador coin for living up to our founding principles. Okay, so now we're getting into, we're getting into the stuff that is more essential. Um, here are my tools. I've got quite a bit of tools. I've got, um, I've got, this is like <laughs> actually grease gun, big tools like C-clamps and other specialty tools. I've got all my electrical, I can solder wiring. If you guys are interested in what's in my toolkit, I got another video and I'll make links. And I already told you guys, whenever I start rolling the camera, a plane flies over. That hasn't changed. All right, so if you're interested in what I have in my toolkits, I got other videos for what's in my toolkits and, and I think I'll remember to place a link, maybe I won't. Now, don't mess around with your sleep, all right? You need a good night's sleep. When you're out there adventuring, it's tough work. 
people, it's tough work. And you can't be like, seriously, now you're going to do loops over our house. That's, that's what you're going to do. Yep, there he goes. Loops. Every time. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, uh, <laughs> I can't even hear myself. All right. One take wonders. People. All right. Um, so don't mess around with your, I was building up to a good joke. I was building up to a good joke. So don't go messing around with your sleep. Make sure that you can sleep comfortably so that you're well rested and you can adventure. Here's my pillow. <laughs> That's my pillow. And, uh, this is my sleeping pad. It's just a little, you know, now anybody else out there get annoyed with, uh, having to roll up one of those air mattresses and lay all over it and flop around like a fish out of water to get the air out of your air mattress. Well, let me change your life. Huh? Come on. What do you need? All right. Sleeping bag. It ain't fancy, but it is a zero degree bag. All right. It's a zero degree bag so that if it gets really cold, I'm still okay. And now the reason I have a zero degree bag is I've learned my lesson the hard way. All right. So sleeping bag. Now, this is something you might not think of. This here is a very simple floor mat. Rolls up. It's small, but super handy. Rolled out on the back of the truck, which is basically my front porch. Sure. Deliveries, whatever. Yeah, it's all right. Um, eventually, someday, I'm going to move to the mountains. I'm going to move out. This is the dream I have. I'm going to get myself some acres. And you guys will come along for the ride. And then we won't have trucks and airplanes doing loops. All right. So um, uh, this is the, the just, just a mat. If you, if you have a tent, um, then it goes in front of your tent door. But by myself solo, I'll be sleeping in the back of the truck with my little pad. I'll have this right there so when I get up in the morning and I don't got my shoes on, jump out, got a nice clean place to stand. That comes in real handy. Now, I only need one chair. So I got this Helinox chair that I bring, and when it comes time to either sit around the fire or just sit down and look at the view, you'll want to have a chair. Sure, I could sit on the tailgate, I could sit on a log, but it's nice to have a chair. I choose this small one. Here's the thing about this, this kind of small uh, Helinox chair. Um, it's like putting together tinker toys and that's a pain. And I hate things that are a pain. I just don't, hate's a strong word. I get very frustrated, all right? Um, so this chair, uh, the, the trade-off is it's small and light. And that's what I go for. I go for the small and light. And even though I got to put it together like tinker toys, I chose to go this route. So I'll bring a chair. By the way, this list, I will make a detailed list of all the links where you can get all this stuff. No, I won't. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spend time doing that. But what I will do is I'll, I'll write some things down in the comments and I'll tell you what we did go through. It just won't be that detailed. Um, all right. Binoculars. Now here's what I'm going to say about binoculars. Now this is another area because you want to, I mean, you're out there in the wilderness. You want to see stuff. That's one of the reasons you're out there. And sometimes it's a safety concern right? Is that a log or a mountain lion? So bring yourself a set of binoculars. Now, here's one of those categories where uh, you spend money and you get the quality, right? If you go with the, what are those, the Svorsky, Svorsky lenses? Those things are magical. It's like witchcraft. You look through those lenses and it's like, wow, I can read the wattage on that rig's headlamp from 200 yards. Uh, I don't have those. I just have kind of these cheapies, but they do the job most of the time. All right? Now, what's in the next case? Light. I got all kinds of light. All kinds of light. These are Wagon Tech. I really like their stuff. My favorite one is this. It's got magnets. You stick it, you plug it into a USB port and it sticks anywhere. I love this thing and it puts out the light. It's great. It is great. That's my, that's my jam right there. And I have other things. This is a flashlight. I really like the Wayfinder light. This also has magnets. It's got, you know, SOS signal, red light, the whole deal. And then these are hanging lights. And I actually hang those on the truck. So lots and lots of light because 
The reason you want light, folks, is because it gets dark. Okay, so I mentioned that I, uh, I'll be going solo until Elon Musk gets his uh, worldwide Wi-Fi broadband, uh, all those satellites launched and we're using it. I still use the um, Garmin InReach. Two-way satellite comms, text both ways, and um, I can communicate with Corey even if I'm off the grid. So I bring that with me wherever I go. This little bad boy, this is another way to communicate. This is a little cheapy ham radio, but what I, what I actually use it for is um, uh, linking to my, um, yes, uh, uh, sorry, linking to my, there's the Yesu, which I thought about getting for a really long time, and then there's the Kenwood, and I, I finally went with the Kenwood on some good advice from my friend Brian. But this KM6YSL. Uh, so this, this radio um, will connect to the, the truck radio if I'm out walking about for, for uh, cross-band repeat. And so this little cheapy that's 5-watt will connect to the 50-watt, and if I need range, I can get range in that way. But it's convenient when I'm walking around camp and I'm not at the rig. Okay? Ham radio. KM6 YSO. KM6 Y, S, L. I said it kind of fast. This here, you guys, Air Armor. Compressor for when I'm airing down and airing up. Now, there are other solutions out there. I think my next upgrade is going to be Viair. Um, not, not, the, not the ARB lately, because they've been f failing. Uh, I talked to a number of Overland Bound members, and the ARB, the twin compressors, uh, they're spendy, and they fail. Um, so I just have a little cheapy. I didn't spend a lot of money on this. But I'll tell you what, my little, my, my little cheapies have lasted for a really long time. The last one I bought, I gave away to somebody else. I got this. And is this a great compressor, this Air Armor? No, I'm not promoting it all. Um, but it does the job. It fills my tires. It just takes like eight minutes a tire but does the job, right? Okay, I got a little table. Now this little table, you can see, sits on top of my gear, it's really small. Uh, and then I put it right here by my tire. So I cook, I cook on my, on my tailgate. This goes right uh, by, the, by the spare tire. I got a little table there, I got a table that is my tailgate. And uh, when you take your rig and you go out to the mountains, which I really, really, really want you guys to do, clearly, uh, flat surfaces to prepare stuff are at a premium. You wouldn't think of that. Flat surfaces are at a premium. Have yourself a little table. Now, this guy over here is uh, my recovery gear. I got, I got gloves. I got gloves. I got... Uh, um, uh, snatch block. I got a uh, toe strap. Um, I've got uh, chain. Uh, all the things you need to use in conjunction with the worn winch that's on the front of the rig for recovery. There's that. This here, little trail clearing tool here. There you go. Good friend, uh, Overland Bound member in Australia, gave that to me. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. This thing will freaking cut through a redwood tree. Don't be cutting down redwoods. But, I mean, this thing is amazing. I mean, uh, uh, no, I don't have a chainsaw, but I got this, and it works very, very well. All right? What's this? This is filled with food. <laughs> so, why? I actually don't need that much food, but th these are dry goods, and... Um, Say I get out there in the mountains, you guys, you're married, you got families, um, you know that if you decide to go off the reservation for a few days, what's that mean? It means your partner at home has to hold down the fort. But it has happened where I'm like, hey, Corey, uh, I know I've been out here for two days. I need two more. She's like, all right, that's what you need. I'll see you when you get home. Whatever you need, baby, whatever you need, you just let me know. I got things here. It's fine. 
So I bring a little extra food because you never know what hap- what's going to happen. So it's dry goods. Oh, by the way, so I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'm not going in. This isn't a meal prep, this isn't a meal prep uh, video. This is just the basics, what I bring. But these are like dry goods that are not going to, um, that are not going to, not really going to go bad very quickly. All right. Boom. There's that. All right. I drive an automatic. I can't push start my vehicle very easily. The Wagon Tech Booster. So I did a video on this, so I'm not going to go through all the detail. I did a video on this just a little while ago, and this little this little thing packs a punch. It'll like jump start my car 57 times or something like that. So it's very compact, very cool. You guys want to have some kind of backup like this. You never know what's going to happen. If you guys have the fancy refrigerators that drain your battery, but they automatically stop to not drain it beyond starting, well, that's cool and stuff, but you never know what's going to happen. You might have some kind of a, some kind of a, a bad short or bad circuit or something that drains your battery, so have a little bit of battery backup. Now, this next box is, is the kitchen kit, all right? Next box is the kitchen kit. And I got a video going over the kitchen kit. So you guys can go and look in detail about the kitchen kit. But basically, it's everything you need to prepare your food and your meals. And that's your bowls. That's your, that's your cooking implements. That's, you know, some spices and towels and things like that. The great thing about this box is setting up the rig back here like, like a gourmet kitchen. It's a lot of fun with the table. You put up your lamps. And you've got a nice little kitchen set up right at the back of your rig. It's, it's, it's really awesome. I really, love, I really love setting up the rig and then just taking my chair and sitting out and looking over the environment and, you know, just having that solace. Now, this, unfortunately, you guys are going to hate me, but hate's a strong word. You guys are not going to like this. This is the turbo toilet, and it's awesome because it's small and compact and it pops up to a little little thing, but this is where you do your business. Unfortunately, you can't get these anymore because they went out of business, but I'll never get rid of this thing. This is perfect. You see these big luggable loos and all that kind of thing, but you know, they look like, they look like briefcases and you know, this is just small and compact and you know, crying out loud, that's all you need. Anyway, so that's what that is. And guys, that's it. That's all you bring. You don't need anything else. And, and like I said, don't overthink it. Don't let the gear and what to pack and the planning be a barrier to you packing a little kit, little simple kit, going out into the woods and spending a couple of days, finding that connection with nature and the great outdoors adventure is necessary. You guys will thank me for it. Now, even some of this stuff you guys saw isn't absolutely necessary. So don't let uh, equipment and gear and all that kind of stuff. It's fascinating. We love it. Why? Because we just love gear. Everyone, everyone loves gear. So you see these people with all the gear. You don't need all the gear. Don't let it be a barrier. Um, same for me too. There's a lot of things I want can't afford or I'm just not going to just not going to get it. So uh, don't let it be a barrier. This stuff is not very expensive except for that med kit. And like I said, <laughs> comes to life saving. That's a deal. Med kits like tourniquets and things of that nature. They're just they're just expensive. All right, you guys. Hey, if you guys have any questions or hey, do this. Tell me in the comments, what is your favorite piece of kit that you bring that you consider an essential? If you're planning on taking a taking a a trip, a solo trip out there. What's the thing that is your core piece of kit that I didn't mention that you you want to bring with you? All right, I, I really, you guys have a lot of knowledge. We love getting your comments in in the in the uh, in in the comments section. Uh, so so I will I will communicate with you guys down there. I am going to do a quick little plug about our own software, which is called Overland Bound One. Go check it out in the app store. You can connect with our community. You can plan your adventure. You can get resources on the map. Now, here's the thing. You guys are going to go over to the iOS store, the Apple store, and you're going to go, I, I search for Overland Bound 1, and it's not there. And that's because Apple has taken a really long time to approve our software. But if you happen to have an Android, go over and get it. And the uh, iOS version will be available soon. Overland Bound 1, it's free app. Go check it out. All right, you guys. Thanks very much. I hope to see you out there on the trail soon enough.